Hi, welcome to my Cajon Box Free Cajon Lessons. Today I want to talk to you guys about the symbols I use uh, with my Cajon. Many of you guys have asked me what symbols I play in the videos and in Fernando's Kitchen, so I'm going to tell you a little bit of a story with my symbols. As you can see, I've got quite a few. Um, I don't necessarily use all of them every time I play, just because that's a lot of stands you've got to lug around. Um, I usually just play with one symbol or two symbols when I'm busking or performing, playing on the street with Fernando's Kitchen, which is my band. Um, but when I'm playing on stage, when I'm doing concerts, I tend to use as many as I can and every time I just use more and more, because it just gives me a lot of good sounds. <laughs> Um, especially with a cajon that doesn't have the hi-hat, doesn't have all the high sounds. So if you can invest in one, it's good. When I started playing cajon, the first accessory that I added to my cajon was a cymbal. I didn't really know much about cymbals. I'm still learning. The world of cymbals is quite a big thing. Everybody has their own specific cymbals and hi-hats and rides that they like to use. And there's nothing different about that when it comes to playing with a cajon and a cymbal. So my first symbol that I ever bought um, was the Stag SH 8 inches medium splash. Um, it was the cheapest one in the store and I just wanted to try it and see how it goes. breaks I would say every four or five months I had to get a new symbol so that means every four or five months I've got to spend 15 to 20 quid after a year or after two years I've pretty much spent the equivalent of a really really good quality symbol on symbols that have all broken so you can understand why I suggest you should invest in a good quality symbol if you can You have to try them, okay? It's not like there's a set standard or a set sound that comes out of each of them that you can just order it online. Especially these, uh, the first time I tried them in the shop and every single time they had a few, I tried all of them and they all sounded completely different. So you've got to go and try the instruments if they're to be really cheap. If they're more expensive and more pro, you can just order them online, that's not a problem because you know what to expect, there's a standard quality. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a demonstration of how this little crash or splash sounds uh, and then we'll move on to the next few symbols that I've invested in, in my little symbol repertoire, okay? Before we have a listen to this one, we're going to need a stand. I just got a normal simple stand without a braced arm, uh, that's all that I need for this now. When I first started I got the cheapest cymbal stand I could find which I believe was also a stag and after a few months it would just break off the literal cymbal stand. Okay, uh, So I eventually decided to invest in a good cymbal stand uh, and I've never looked back. This cymbal stand has been lasting me I think for the last three years and it's not giving me any problems whatsoever. It's really strong. It's a bit heavier. Um, it's a heavy duty. It's got double braces. The one I got was just a pearl double braced, you know, cymbal stand with just a straight arm, okay? This little plastic thing, okay? Eventually it gets worn out because the cymbal is kind of hitting against it, okay, so it'll eventually wear out, so you've got to get new ones of these, okay, so make sure that they don't break, because then what it means is your cymbal is constantly hitting against the metal in there, which will eventually break your cymbal, no matter how good it is, okay, so we've got that there, place the cymbal in there, and let's have a little listen to how this little stag splash sounds. I kind of do like the sound. It's it's not bad. It's really not bad. It's just not the best quality symbol. Just make sure if you do buy one, you go try it because some of them really sound terrible. Okay, let's have a listen. So that 
that's how my Stag 8 inch medium splash sounds. I have to add that depending on how tight you tighten the screw on the top, that is going to change the sound that comes out of your cymbal. So it's going to be a bit of a tighter sound, like that. And when I loosen it and give it more freedom, meaning the cymbal is more free, Right, there's a few little extra things that you can add uh, onto your cymbal to make it sound a little bit different for a special song. I did use it for a bracelet, but I soon found another use for it in terms of my music to give me this sound. So you can be quite creative, find anything and put it on there. Um, another thing that I like to use, which gives me a little bit of a different sound, is an earring. Can you hear that? So as you can see, you can be really creative and get a lot of cool sounds out of a single symbol just by being a little bit more creative. This is the AAX Explosion Splash uh, from Sabian. It's really awesome. Firstly, it's a proper symbol, meaning that it's good quality. It doesn't break like the stag symbols. It just doesn't break. The other thing that's really cool about it is it's quite thin. So it has quite a sustain, which is cool. And this is the 11 inch. I believe there's 10 inch as well, which I haven't tried yet. If anyone has it, uh, please feel free to comment below and just tell us how did you find your AAX uh, explosion splash 10 inches? Because I'm quite interested in trying that one. If somebody wants to send me one, you're more than welcome. So we're going to have a little listen to this one. This is one of my favorite symbols. These you can order online because they're good quality. Okay, you, you can be assured that you're not going to receive a crap Sabian symbol. Okay, so like I said, if you're going to buy a really cheap uh, symbol, go and try it. But if you're going to buy an expensive symbol and you know which symbol you like, you can order it online and save yourself the time of actually going to try it. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of demonstration of how my Sabian sounds. I love this one. This is the one I use the most. This is called an explosion splash. The next symbol that I got, which is also quite cool, is the Turkish handmade symbols from Turkey rock beat. This is a 10 inch splash and it's got a little bit of a darker sound, a little bit uh, less of an explosion sound than my AAX, which is cool because now I can use them at, uh, together um, on different arms and different braces to give me different sounds. It sounds pretty cool. So let's have a listen. It's a bit darker and also it's a little bit thicker than my AAX. This one I got, it's called a diamond, it's bright and it's handmade in Wuhan, it's a 12 inch splash. So basically I'm using a load of splashes, okay. 
And this is a very different sound because it's got these little dots in it. It's a little bit more Chinese. Uh, I don't use it as often as the others because it's got a very specific sound, but it's kind of cool in a concert um, for hitting that one or two times when you want that specific sound. Can you hear? It's pretty bright, isn't it? Let's try it again. Another symbol I have, um, which is really huge, is a Stag Dragon series. This is a crash, okay? It's a 16 inch medium crash. So medium meaning that it's not thin and it's not, uh, you know, it's medium. Medium is, is, is how thick it is. Okay, so it's not really thin. It's gonna have a bit of a darker sound. And it's also upside down. You can put it either way you want. It's kind of got this little curve like a hat, okay? Very, very specific sound too. Same as the uh, diamond uh, splash. It's not necessarily the sound you want to be using all the way through your music, but very useful to have there for that once or twice where you really want to get that specific sound. <laughs> Pretty intense song. Let's try it again. Now this symbol or this crash hurts a little bit more than the others because it's it's a medium one. It's thick uh, and it it has these curved up corners. And you definitely want to play it as much on the edge as possible to get the most sound out of it. If I hit it with my full hand, uh, you can see that the sound doesn't come out. So I'm basically just hitting it with the tips of my fingers. And it's got quite a nice sustain. So you can hear that this is really, really an impressive crash. Uh, and for that very, very big climax moment in the song, you want to use this. So yeah, symbols are really interesting and there's a lot of things you can do with it, a lot of sounds and it's pretty much effects. Um, and effects are really important because it adds the emotions to the song. So if you don't have a drum kit player in your band and you're the cajon player, uh, I suggest that the first thing you should move on to um, is adding a symbol to your little cajon kit setup. Because uh, it's going to just add another frequency that you just don't find on the cajon. Now I'm going to show you guys what I do when I want to play two cymbals and what you'd need to get for that. The first thing you're going to need is um, obviously a cymbal stand for one cymbal. You're going to need another arm, okay? So you can buy another arm separately, which is what I did when I wanted to start playing with two. I had to go and buy the arm and this little bracket that holds the arm against um, the other arm. Okay, so show you guys how I do this. Okay, as you can see, it kind of fits in there and I just close it nicely. Okay. I open the bottom a bit more because I need some more space. And also, the heavier um, the weight on the symbol the less possibility that it'll fall over the more if you open the legs in the bottom okay so we'll put this down here i have my symbol bracket my arm bracket or whatever you want to call it here give it the angle that i want you can always adjust it over there so it's pretty cool once again i suggest you don't get a cheap symbol arm i mean arm or a bracket holder because they break okay get expensive hardware get expensive stuff because that's gonna last you're just wasting your money if you're buying cheap stuff unless you're just doing it to see whether you really want to do it and you're unsure of it in that case it's understandable that you don't want to spend a lot of money on something that you're not sure you're going to do so obviously we want to have one a little bit higher than the other because they're going to clash with each other if we don't and i'm going to just adjust this one's position to there and I will show you, I will use the AAX, for the looks of it, uh, I put the bigger symbols, um, 
towards the back, going down to the smaller ones, but that'll be up to you how you want to do it. And then I'm going to use my Turkish um, splash, 10 inch splash. Okay, see, you can see the difference. It makes different notes, okay? dynamics that can be applied to anything that you play, any instrument, and it's important. So you can really hit the thing, or you can, okay, same with this one. A little secret to hitting your cymbal, like I said, hit it on the edge to get more sound. If I hit it there, I'm kind of stopping the sound with my hand, but if I, if I just touch it on the edge, I'm letting it resonate and that's where I'm getting my sound from okay so just one first little lesson on how to play with the cymbal is play with the tips on the ends of your fingers okay don't think you're gonna get bigger sound the more hand you use it's quite the contrary okay if you play cymbals or crashes or splashes with a cajon I'd like to hear what's your opinion on this and uh, what's your favorite symbol or crash or splash and why and what do you like about it i'd be quite interested to know uh what you do with your cajon setup maybe if somebody wants to recommend me a cool symbol a new symbol i can try i think it's about time for me to invest in another symbol yeah i'm gonna be making a really nice video lesson on how to play the symbols with a cajon starting from the basics just uh giving you guys some exercises and some groove patterns so you can practice and get used to playing the cymbal while you play the cajon so keep an eye out for that subscribe to my channel for that okay and don't forget to go and check out my website which is called cajonbox.com uh, all my lessons are listed there in the order i would suggest you to learn them i've got a wonderful blog page i write articles as often as i can such as how to tune your cajon how to keep your skin hard good practicing tips accessories all of that sort of stuff i've got a really nice shop as well where i stock really extraordinary instruments as well as my very own cruz cajon so go and check it out they're wonderful and also you can leave a comment or ask any questions on my website and i will answer you speedily if you're too lazy to go to my website that's okay i understand feel free to leave a comment down below and if you've got a question i will try to answer you as soon as i possibly can thank you guys very much for enjoying this lesson and uh, keep rocking meantime go and buy yourself a symbol or a crash or a splash so that when the next lesson comes up you're going to be ready and set to join me thanks <laughs>